besides me have a muse? There's writers in these rooms. I mean, you, you have a muse, right? When the olden days, the muse wasn't part of you, it was separate from you. So if you didn't, if you wrote a bad song, it was the muse's fault. You know, I kind of like that. In, in the Greek times, I mean, you know, if you had a bad muse, what could you do? You know, it wasn't your fault. I really prefer that muse, so when it's not working for me, it's cool. And um, the lady who wrote Eat, Love, Pray, I can't think of her name, um, she said, she's taught her muse to just wait, I gotta go get a pencil, you know, when she goes to get, you know, to write it down. But this song, actually, the muse hit on my way to Charlottesville, I was driving down to see my daughter Julia, and I literally had to pull, off, pull the car off, I wrote the entire song in one sitting, which almost, because I'm gonna tell you ladies that the second verse is craft. The first verse in the hook may be inspiration, but people that can write a second verse, it's just like, you know, it's, it's hard to finish the song. This song, whole thing came at once, it was just a miracle. So, and this song is called True Love, so I hope you all like it. Thank you. I love that song. Thanks so much. 